What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel, Everything Jacks Real Estate, and you're watching another model home tour. In this model home tour, we're gonna to be checking out the Costa Mesa floor plan built by ICI Homes here in Courtney Chase, a new neighborhood in Silverleaf, which is a brand new community here in St. Johns County. This floor plan is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom floor plan. It's roughly 3140 square feet because it does have the bonus. It has a three car tandem garage. This floor plan starts at $643,900 without the bonus and does go up from there with different design center options. A couple of things that we're gonna be checking out as we walk through this floor plan is gonna be the amazing master ensuite with tons of upgrades that they've done, as well as the beautiful kitchen that also has quite a bit of upgrades. Also, as we walk through, you are gonna notice there's gonna be some taller ceilings and even taller doors that are not gonna be standard across most homes, but with ICI, they do offer that as something they can do with their new builds. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you get notified to post more content like this in the future. Also, as I'm walking through this floor plan, feel free to leave a comment on anything that you have questions on or that you like or would like to see different in the home. Also, stay till the end because I will be going over some builder incentives ICI is currently offering. All right, now let's go ahead and check out this home. All right, so let's go and check out the Costa Mesa. So first thing you're gonna notice, obviously is a two car garage. That being said, it's a two car from the front, but it is a tandem garage, so it does go deeper once you get into the home. Another thing I love about this uh, floor plan, which you don't always get with homes here in St. John's County, is they actually give you a pretty well-sized front porch. You know, that's in that, even though some front porches, some houses will have them, they're not always the most usable front porch. This clearly is deep enough that you could honestly hang out, relax with family, um, and enjoy you know, the nice weather during certain parts of the year here in St. John's County. Uh, as you'll notice throughout, they did do the tall doors throughout, all the, throughout the home. The tall doors do make a big difference, makes it feel more open, more inviting. And part of that is because with, uh, with ICI homes, they do the taller ceilings as well. Now, sometimes it's a standard, other times it is something that you uh, have to pay extra for, uh, for an upgrade. But it's a nice aspect to have because the larger the ceilings are, or taller the ceilings are, the bigger the house feels. So go ahead and come on inside. So first thing you're gonna notice is we have a well-sized office when you first come in. Now this is great if you need to kind of get away from family when you're working, especially if you are working from home, which in today's world is more common than it used to be. And as you can see here, they did some nice wood elements along the walls really just gives it a nicer high-end feel with those items. They also do have this double barn door entry or closing, which is a little bit different, more like a French door feel that you don't typically get with the barn door. So overall, great space here at the office, and it leads you to the hallway to go to the rest of the home, but also to your first two bedrooms, as well as your first bathroom. So this is great for the kids, uh, for guests. You, know, you have bedroom number one over here, very well sized. Obviously you can see they have uh, it more as a single bed for uh, a, a kid to you know, stay in. Another aspect I love is that you do have the French doors for your, uh, for your closet. A lot of times you may see the bifold doors. The bifold doors always tend to have issues at some point. So having these French doors, it just, again, it gives it more of a high-end feel, which if you're paying, you know, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars for a home, this is more what you want. And it's a fairly good size uh, closet for one of the guest bedrooms. So we're going to keep on moving and we're going to check out the other bedroom followed by looking at the first bathroom. So the second bedroom, it's a lot of the same stuff. You have more of a, a twin bed, full bed uh, in here as well. You do still have the same element of the French doors going to your closet instead of the bifolds. Closet might be a little bit smaller than the first bedroom. And also I do want to point out throughout the home, ICI did do the plantation shutters. Now these appear to be full wood shutters, which is again, it's a nice element to have, uh, especially when you're here in Florida, it just really gives you more of that Florida feel. And ultimately it is a thing that you can do with the builder or you can always do after the fact, but definitely 
it's a great thing to do overall, in my opinion, at some point. And again, this bedroom is roughly about the same size as the first bedroom. So as we continue forward, we're gonna now check out the first bathroom. So this bathroom, you have a single vanity. They did do the quartz in it as well, you, and the white cabinets. And they also did a nice, really thick subway tile here. A little different than what we've seen in other videos, but I actually do kind of like it. It's, it has more of that gray tone with a little bit of a dark gray, almost black around the outside. That really makes it kind of stand out each tile individually. One thing that they didn't do that they have done in the past with a lot of their models is they did not do the tile up to the ceiling. That would have been a great thing to see. Um, but let me, know your com let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you like not having tile up to the ceiling or would you prefer to see that as well? That's not how I would. Either way, still a great space here for kids or for guests. So as we continue to move forward throughout the rest of the house, again, we've seen the office, we've seen the two bedrooms and the bathroom. They do have this little pantry, you know, butler pantry in here that they currently have for, you know, for like a wine room. It could be used for, uh, you know, to store a lot of the wine, liquor, stuff like that. It is kind of nice to have that space off to the side. You don't see that very often with a lot of the models here. Now moving forward, we're gonna now go into the meat and the bones of the house. And so what that means is again, this is the majority of where you're gonna spend most of your time. You have your dining room here with your nice accent wall that they've painted more of a more of a blue to offset more of these lighter tones. And it opens up to your huge kitchen island. And again, when I say huge, this thing is massive. Uh, they did a waterfall effect with the island. And it's all quartz, very nice, uh, very nice touches that they use there. And they offset that with some darker cabinets for the island, which you can see here, which is definitely nice. And again, with most of these models, as you're gonna see soft closed cabinets throughout, a lot of times that's gonna be a standard. Sometimes it could be an upgrade, but either way, it's always well worth doing. As you can see here, they do have the farm sink, which is also very nice. And you do have your pullout for your trash, which I personally love. Again, soft clothes as well. And they even did pullouts for the cabinets, which is well worth it. You do have a small pantry here. My apologies, not small pantry. It's actually a pretty good sized pantry, kind of tucked in over there. And as mentioned with other communities, it is a gas community. So all gas for your stove. They did do a herringbone tile for the wall, for the backsplash, really nice touch. A little bit of a lighter gray, kind of offsets the white. Uh, you know, beautiful wood hood. Again, they did all white upper cabinets. And even one other aspect I like is they did some open cabinets here. So you do have more of the open open cabinets, really nice to kind of make it a focal point of the home, especially for guests. You, know, you probably wouldn't always use it for stuff you're using every day, but it is nice because it provides a little different touch to have it open to where you, again, you make it a focal point. Now off the kitchen, you're gonna see here, you get a small little mud room, which is nice, you know, for taking off your shoes, coming in from the garage. Uh, but right next to the mud room, you actually have your laundry room, which for this one, for this model, they do have a washer dryer in with it. And they did do a sink in here, which they continued with, again, another quartz or granite material. This looks more to be granite, but it might be a quartz to, again, just add more of a, you know, higher end look to the laundry room. They also have the cabinets. So overall, very nice touch and definitely a little bit different tile in here to kind of offset the wood floors that they have throughout most of the home. And again, this slider wood is something that we're seeing used quite a bit right now by a lot of the builders here. Uh, it's kind of one of those things, you know, out with the gray, you know, more in with the lighter browns again, which is honestly kind of nice to see. You know, the gray was getting a little bit overused in the last couple of years. And as you can see here, really large open living room off of the kitchen. Just such a great entertaining space. If you have guests, if you, if you like to have, you know, parties or gatherings, have people over, it's a really great space to be able to entertain and have everything open to where no one ever feels like they're off on their own somewhere. 
Now off of the living room, we're gonna have our master bedroom on the left side of the house, the way that this floor plan is designed. Now when you come in, you're gonna see here, floor plan is very open in here. They did do the tray ceiling to add more height to this room, make it feel larger. They did do the uh, some more wood elements on the back wall to again, provide a little bit more of a different feel to it, again, higher end. You have tons of natural lighting in the master bedroom. You have a couple of obviously open and closed windows as well as the transom windows, so to speak, right there. So a lot of natural light comes into the space. And it leads you to your master ensuite. So your master ensuite, very big when you first come in, very open. They do give you a double vanity with cabinets all the way across, really big mirror. But then what I love about this space is the master shower. So this shower, it is massive. Uh, one thing that we always like to talk about is they do have the inserts for your, for your uh, soaps and your shampoos, you know, built in, you know, that's a huge bonus. Like I mentioned earlier, they actually dig up to the ceiling for this tile, which just again, gives us a nicer look. And it has the rain head, which I love the fact that it has the rain head because it just provides a different element that you don't always get with many of these homes. But you still have the normal head as well if you don't want to use the rain head. They also have both of the handles for, for both heads when you first come in, so that way you're not getting wet. Uh, when you go to turn it on, you can let it kind of warm up first. And it won't take too long to warm up because you also have instant hot water because you do have a tankless gas water heater with the home here. Now, closet, pretty good size. It's not the biggest we've seen, not the smallest, but overall, great size closet, uh, all things considered for this price point. They do have the shoe rack down below, which is nice to be able to, again, lay your shoes out, kind of get them off the ground. And you do also have your, your water closet off to the side as well, separate, you know, separate and you know, tucked away. All right, so next we are going to check out the mother-in-law, or what could be used as the mother-in-law wing of the home. So the mother-in-law wing is gonna be on the other side of the house, next to the stairwell, to your loft. And the mother-in-law wing, it could be used as a cabana bath if you ever had a pool in the backyard, it could be used for guests for when they're visiting, so they don't have to go up to the first bedroom or first bathroom when you first come in the house. But again, they continue the same wood elements throughout with the flooring. You get a nice, beautiful, looks to be granite uh, countertop. And the shower is well sized. Uh, it is a walk-in shower. And they did a nice different kind of tile pattern where they did the just a nice standard white on the sides and then really used more of a distinct tile on the back to really make it pop, especially with the black trim on the glass doors. And this is going to lead us into our fourth and final bedroom of the Costa Mesa. So this fourth bedroom could be used as an additional office, it could be used as a mother-in-law wing of the house, uh, it could be used as a yoga room. So it has a lot of different uses it can be, and because it's separate from everything else, it doesn't have to just be a bedroom, but it can be a bedroom if you want to. That's probably the main use for it. So from there, we are now gonna check out the, the bonus room, or the loft upstairs. So the bonus, it's a great way to, if you decide to add it, it's a great way to add additional square footage to your home, which when you go to potentially sell down the road, definitely is gonna uh, give you some additional increases in price, give you different increases in equity. Um, and typically if you're going to do a bonus, if you're gonna do some sort of addition to the home, typically it's gonna make the most sense to do it at the time of construction with the builder uh, versus trying to do some sort of ex addition down the road. So this bonus, they did a tray ceiling up here as well, which really makes it feel very open, very large. And it's a really nice space. They continue the same flooring up here as well. It's a really nice space to hang out as well. This would be a great space if you have kids, you know, for the kids to bring their friends over to hang out in, kind of get away from you if you want to have the living room to yourself. 
you know, it really gives the ability to have some separate spaces for the family. And overall, it's definitely a nice touch as well with this floor plan. And you do get a half bath up here as well. So having the half bath up here is nice because now you don't have to come downstairs every time you use the bathroom. Uh, still just gives you that ability to kind of keep the space separate. It could be even used as a man cave or a she shed if you wanted to as well. So all in all, big fan of the space up here. Now we are gonna end on the back porch. Now for this one, I just wanna highlight they did do a small summer kitchen with it. Nothing too crazy, but it is a nice back porch to definitely highlight. They did screen it in, which is nice. And they did do a nice pavered uh, flooring out here as well. So overall, very quaint, very quiet back here. With it being a new construction community, most of these homes, once everything gets built, will be very quiet, will stay fairly natural for what you're seeing. But ultimately, on a nice you know, spring day or fall day, really great space to hang out in with friends or family. And again, just to highlight the summer kitchen, is a nice touch that you could do. This would be a upgrade that I see I would typically offer, but overall it's a nice touch if it's something that you're gonna use quite a bit. So that is gonna wrap up the Costa Mesa model home tour. All right, so what do you think of the Coast Mesa floor plan here with ICI Homes? I know if it was me, I would love this nice open kitchen. I love how the bedrooms are kind of split away from each other. So for your master bedroom, you do have a little bit more privacy. But definitely in the comment section below, leave a comment on what you liked most or what you'd like to see different the most with this floor plan. I'd love to hear your thoughts and see just you know what you think about this floor plan as well. Also, if you have a question about this floor plan or about this neighborhood or Silverleaf or St. John's County in general, in the description of this video is a link to my calendar. Feel free to schedule time on my calendar for us to either meet face to face, through Zoom, or even a phone call to go over what your family's wants and needs are here in St. John's County. I would love to help with the decision on where you end up here in St. John's. Also, as mentioned by sticking to the end, the current builder incentives ICI is offering, which again are subject to change, is that they're offering a $40,000 to be used across the board however you like. You could use it part of it towards a rate buy down, you could use part towards closing cost concessions, you could also use part of it for design center options, or you could use it to just take off the price. So that's a beauty that ICI is offering right now for this community, that you can really use it however you want. All right now, until next time, I'll see you guys again on the next video.